for more on Mali's referendum, I'm joined by my colleague Mudibo Dembele, BOA Bambara Service Managing Editor. Mudibo, welcome to Africa 54. Welcome, Esther. Uh, tell us what's the latest on the vote count. Right now, according to Mali Observation Election Mission, the latest, they are still counting. And according to what I call age, 27% of the vote has been counted. So it's still underway. Some people say they were unable to vote because of insecurity in some areas. Do we know whether what's being done to allow them to vote and exercise their right? Uh, in most of those areas, we have Kidal. We have also the center of Mali, such as Nyono, uh, and also a little bit like uh, the region to uh, Mauritania, Nara. In those areas, the report is from security incidents, especially jihadists took like, uh, the ballot boxes some of them even sometimes like uh, election officials have been abducted but later released and right now the government i think seem to continue counting the election even though in those area people have not been able to conduct like uh, their constitutional right and so what happens next if the vote passes oh uh, if the vote passes which means it's going to be a new area that's what they're calling bambara malikura which means like brand new mali so most likely uh, the current president transition will hand the power to a civilian transition in February 2024. But then there's this rebel group that says no to the draft of the constitution. What do they want? Uh, this is really one of the big issues in this upcoming uh, election. That's why uh, in Kidal, which is the like extreme north of Mali, uh, the referendum was not able to be held because uh, the platform, which is one of the rebel group, they used to be called pro-government and also the coordination of Azawad movement. They say no. And right now, uh, I cannot tell you more than that, but uh, we just know for a fact that uh, referendum was not able to be done in those areas. We know that ECOWAS has been uh, trying to push for this uh, you know, transition to civilian government. Uh, do we know if there is goodwill from the military junta? Uh, based on uh, what we have seen yesterday and based on uh, the comment made by observer, we can say that uh, because this is one of the first steps and I know it's, it was delayed a little bit, but uh, hopefully and based on what we have seen, I think they, this is a good process. If everything has been done as they say, I don't see why uh, you know, the power should not be uh, handed over to a civilian government for upcoming months. Debo, thank you for following this for us. Pleasure.